that lens is a little bit dirty. It's okay, that didn't really do a lot. <laughs> have I got any lipstick on my teeth? Where's that? Oh, and I have. Brilliant, good job I checked. Hey guys, so as September is already with us and I'm going back to school in a few days, I thought that I could do a back to school stationery haul because I know that a lot of you love to watch these, I personally love to watch these just to see what like people are getting this year and to inspire myself and also I actually got into sixth form so I thought I should celebrate with a super massive stationery haul. So if you did watch one of my Florida vlogs called Losing My Shit in Target then you would have already seen a lot of this stuff so you can skip to this time here which will take you to just a new step or if you did not watch that video then stay and you can see see all the stuff I bought in Florida as well. Also, if I think that I explained something better in the Florida vlog, then I will just put that in there because if I wanted to explain something and I've missed it out when I'm explaining it now and you get a cutaway of me sat in a car um, looking pretty suntanned explaining something, then just know that I didn't explain it in this version but I explained it in the vlog and I wanted to show you guys, okay? Got it? Get it? Good. Let's go. Okay, so if you are watching this bit, then you obviously have not seen the Florida vlogs. So if you would like to see that, then you can click the eye in the corner, which will take you to a playlist of all of them. Or you can just stay here and watch me unveil all this stuff I bought in Target. I spent way too much money in Target because I quite simply lost my shit when I went in there. I spent like literally like half of my spending money in one session in Target. Target is addictive, people. Don't keep showing me. We have a waterproof smartphone pouch, but that's not stationary, so... Bye, lads. Okay, so the first thing I got was this really cute water bottle. This has got a rainbow on it that says, The Earth is the only planet where rainbows are possible, and I really, really love this. Unfortunately, when we were flying home from Florida, I think my bag must have hit something, because it's got a little chip in the red bit of the rainbow, but that's okay, it's only a little thing, to be honest, and, you know, it does a job. Like, I can still drink out of it, obviously. But I just thought this was really, really cute. It was $8.99 in Target, which I thought was an absolute bargain, to be honest, because if it was, like, $20, and I was like, Oh, I can't really afford this, so that's what was $8.99 and I was like, you are going in the cart. <laughs> okay, so next up is this pencil case. Now this is kind of like jelly material, which I think is very, very cool. It's like a mint green teal colour and that is like a really pretty colour, like my room is basically that colour. Price is not on this and it's not on a lot of the other items either, but I did mention them in the other video, so I'll go watch the video and I'll put it in here. So, there you go, enjoy the price of this. I think it must have been around like $2, it couldn't be more than like $4. Well, just now it's just like eight dollars, and I'm like, oops. <laughs> Next up is this really, really cute watch. Now this is it's a brown. It's got a brown leather strap, and then a kind of like off-white. Uh, background and it's got the numbers are quite quirky on it. It's kind of like all over the place Which I just thought was really really cute basically as you're not allowed to use your phone Well, actually you might be allowed in sixth form, but in like throughout the other years You're not allowed to use your phone So I was always trying to sneak a glance at my phone to get the time But I thought why not buy myself a watch and I couldn't find one I liked in the UK Went to Florida and saw this now this was originally $10.99 But I got it for $7.99 which is once again an absolute bargain <laughs> So next up is this massive collection of pens. Now these have got like every colour you could ever possibly need. Um, I thought these were really cool. They're paper mates so that you know they're just going to last a long time and they'll also be really good at writing with because that's so stupid. But you know some pens are just like nicer to write with. Paper mate pens tend to be nicer to write with. This does not have a price on so I'll put it in here for you guys. Next up we have got this really cute little stapler. How adorable is this? It is like the smallest stapler I've ever seen and you might be prepared to see like the best thing you've ever seen in your whole life. It's got a little storage area underneath that holds staples. How amazing is that? I remember I was so impressed when I saw this in the Florida vlogs. Whoa, it says staples included in storage area under the sticker. I didn't know there was a storage area. Well, fuck me with a donkey. There was a look at that shit. Look at that, right? You think there's nothing there? It's a storage area. That's honestly, it's amazing. I think this was $1.99. Yes, it was. This was $1.99 in Target and it was well worth that $1.99 because it's so cute. Now we've got some mechanical pencils and that is because I literally hate the feeling of a normal pencil. Like, it's just like wooden, it's just, it's honestly, it's so, so awful. So I always try and buy mechanical pencils and these are another Papermate ones. They just come in like five different colours. To be honest, it doesn't really matter on the colour because it's still going to come out in pencil colour pencil colour, also known as grey. <laughs> and once again, the price was not on these, so they will be in by here. And these were... is the price? There is no price. I can't find the price. I found a bag and I don't know where it's from, so... 
Bye. <laughs> Next up, we've actually got some more pens. Now, I saw these in, I don't think I saw these in Target. Or I might have saw these in Target. I saw these somewhere and thought they were very, very cute. And I thought I really needed a set. So, I got them. Once again, no price on them, so I'll put it in right here. But they're in funky colours. There's a striped one, and a part one, and then a flowery one. And they've got like a little like rubber thing to grab onto, which I just think is really cool. And it's described as comfort grip, retractable, silky smooth. And I'm like, wow. These better be good. So next up, we've got this kind of like tribally notebook. Um, these are, I, mean, I always love a notebook. Like a notebook is kind of like an essential. I feel like you should always need one. How much was this? It does not say. Oh, on the back, it's got like a pretty tribal pattern as well, which is really pretty. I'm guessing, this is my prediction if I can remember right, that these were $1.50. But I'll put it in now. Was I right? Was I wrong? Am I a dumb bitch? Or did I get it right? And our final thing was another notebook. This is kind of like this other one right here. It was kind of like hard, whereas this one isn't. It's kind of like soft and flaky. So this one kind of got like a pretty gingham pattern, then a, a gold strip, then a mint green colour. Then on the back, it's navy with a crab, an anchor, and a, a whale, which is cool because I really love nautical things because I'm, la I'm a Larry. <laughs> what can I say? You either get that or you won't. <laughs> So I always need a notebook, not just for school, but also for YouTube because I love to like brainstorm and things. And obviously I write my final ideas down on pages on my Mac, but it does, it's not really the same because you can't really brainstorm on a computer, whereas on a piece of paper you can draw things off and cross them out. So I feel like I, I brainstorm on paper, but I write my final good ideas on my computer. Good ideas, not really good ideas are they? I mean like, let's just look back at what ideas I've come up with. The Silk and Slingshot Chicken Challenge. <laughs> not really a good idea and I wonder why my brother doesn't want to film with me again <laughs> so next I did go to Bath and Body Works but I'm not going to explain these in this vlog I'm just going to put in the cutaway of me explaining in Florida so there you go so next me and my mum went to Bath and Body Works because I literally love Bath and Body Works like you just walk in it's just like the smell I just love it so I got some hand gels I got this red one which is called a thousand wishes and it smells like they had one a few years ago which was like chiffon which is like what they make wedding dresses out of and it smells just like that so the second one I bought is called yoga babe and it is kind of like pink and this smells, it kind of smells like watermelon and strawberries which is weird because I don't really normally like the smell of watermelon but this is really cute. This one was $2 and this one was $1.75 so then obviously I need something to store those in so I got this little hand gel holder to attach onto my bag and it's like a little beach ball then you put it in this way if I can get this in put it in like that and then it just stays and you can just get the hand gel out which I just think is really cool also i'm like the biggest like gym i'm not the biggest gym if i'm going but like i just have issues with things like i just sometimes i'm like i just need to like hand gel my hands so this helps <laughs> this hand gel holder was five dollars fifty okay so that is all the things i had in florida hello if you have skipped ahead and are just joining us back and if you've been watching all this time then we are now going to move on to things i bought in the uk so the first thing i want to show you is my bag this is a kind of like a vintagey satchel bag it is a backpack and it is massive. Like when I was picking this up in the shop, I uh, picking up in the shop. I ordered it online. When I was ordering it online in the shop, I didn't expect it to be this big. So if I undo the buckles, then you open it up, and it is huge. There is also a like a laptop holder, which was like custom built for the type of laptop I have, which is really really cool. There's loads of pockets on it. Like there's one at the front by here, and another one by there. There's some drink holder things on the side. There are so, there's so many pockets so much room in this thing it is ridiculous <laughs> but I think this will be really purpose built for school because obviously I'm gonna have a lot of books and folders and stuff I need to be carrying around so yes I think this is very very cool I bought this from a online shop called New Chic and I uh, don't know how much this is I think this was oh this was £18.99 because it was on sale and I was like what a bargain I love a bargain in case you haven't discovered this already <laughs> so to buy the rest of the stationery I went to Wilkinson's and if you live in America, I don't think they have bookings in America. It's basically a shop that sells pretty much everything. And um, it's, to be honest, their stationery is lit. So the first thing I bought in Wilkinson's was this cute little organiser. Now I thought that I've always had a planner in school, like a planner they give you. But I don't think they give you one in six months, so I thought I'd buy my own. And this is literally so adorable. It's like very mini and very cute. And inside it's got lots of different compartments. So the first one's got is a diary with like the dates and all. Then it's got like places to write what you're doing that day. Oh, my voice is proper cracked. Then we've got a list section, so it's like shopping and tasks and things, which shopping area and a task list, which is really cool. Then diet slash exercise. 
so I'm just gonna skip that section. I don't think I'm gonna need a meal planner to be honest, or an exercise thing, I'm, I'm not gonna need that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna need that. Then we have a budget section, which is quite a cool thing. And then there's a notes section just at the back for just everything else. So I thought this was just really little, I could just keep it in my school bag, and obviously this massive school bag is not gonna take up much room. But um, this is only £3.50, which is an absolute bargain. So next I got this folder. This folder is kind of like a cardboardy material, and it's got little like, cactus on it. Then on the inside it is electric pink with a little like, ring binder. I think just because when you go into sixth form, you always see sixth form was carrying around folders, and I thought I might need a folder or two, so I got two folders. And the second folder I got was a much bigger one. This is just a plain striped one, but on the inside it's got like a proper beefed up thing. It's got like tissue paper over it now. But it's got like a proper like one where you have like the leaf one all. So the big one was two pound, and this little one was 125. So next up I got some highlighters. These are pretty basic highlighters, nothing special, but I thought that I'm gonna need them. And these were... It don't say. Um, it doesn't say how much these were, but I'll put it in now. I'm just gonna skip the ruler. You, you don't need to see what a ruler looks like. So next step, I needed a glue stick. Now, being me, I couldn't just go for a normal glue stick, could I? So I got an electric blue glue stick because, you know, I'm me and I feel the need to be like, hello, I'm obnoxious. Yeah, that is, that is blue. Not gonna mistake my work, are they? This was like 125, I think that was. So next up, I got some revision cards. Now the reason I got these was because when I was arriving for my GCSEs in the summer, I went through so many of these revision cards, but I couldn't get my hands on them anywhere because so many people have bought them, they like sold out. So I thought when they got like a new pattern here that I would just get some ready for when I need them. And these are just got like a purple pattern, and then a pink pattern, the green pattern with a strawberry. Oh, the green pattern one, that's nice, isn't it? These were one pound for 75 revision cards, which I think is very, very good. And we have reached our final item, which is Tip X. Teachers hate you having it, but I am like the world's clumsiest dickhead, so I definitely need it. Also, Tipex is kind of shitty. Like, I know it covers your mistake, but then it leaves like a massive lump, and then you try and like write around it anyway, so you may as well cross it out, but I think it just makes me feel better having it. <laughs> okay, so that wraps up my stationery haul for this year. If you enjoyed, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Goodbye! She just decided to go in the shower now. I swear to God, I'll kill him. My mum's singing the Scooby Doo theme tune in the bath, and I'm like, same. <laughs> Although, whenever I see Scooby Doo, I think of Fisha Vodka Doo. Fisha Vodka Doo, where are you?